Welcome back to Models and Cars. I'm Maddie, and today we are going to be holding an interview with Greg, and this interview series still does not have a name, so we're looking to you, our viewers, to create a name for these interview segments that I'm going to be doing with drivers and car enthusiasts around the area. Um, and if we happen to choose the name that you create, you're going to get a signed poster of me, so definitely um, think of something while you watch. Scarab was kind of a was never expected to happen. It was uh, uh, if you watch the channel, you're familiar with Hot Wheels. It was in last week's episode, um, my 2010 Camaro, and two winters ago, I got caught in a bad snowstorm, and Hot Wheels did not want to go anywhere. It took me four hours to go about five miles to get home. So. Um, this past winter, I wanted something that was going to be able to drive in the snow, and the opportunity came up to take your Beetle and make it my daily driver. Mm -hmm. So uh, I took the Beetle as a daily driver, and the, the, the goal was to basically just drive it till it died. It was going to be the winter car, it was going to be the bad weather car, uh, pretty much that was it. Mm -hmm. Um, and how many miles does it have on it? Like kind of a. It's got one hundred and seventeen thousand. Yeah, yeah. Miles. So, so that was the plan. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> just just drive it till it was mm -hmm. done. But you know, with the channel, it was kind of like, well, what kind of things? I was going to just do things to maintain it. Oil changes. How to do an oil change on a Beetle? Mm -hmm. uh, how to whatever it needed. Just. And we see those types of videos on the other kinds of cars yeah. that we have, yeah. Yeah, there will be even more of those, and there will still be those videos mm -hmm. going on. But I was looking for something, I'm like, I need content. What is it I'm going to do that I could do inexpensively and just, just keep it going and get content or what? So I started doing a search for Volkswagen Beetles and modifications just to see what was out mm -hmm. there. And I came across something like this. Yep. And actually the one I came up with um, is actually well known and another channel actually bought it and then sold it. It was called Baja Bob. That was the name of the car. Uh, and I actually found it before it was that. And it was a Beetle. And this is mod styled after it, although I've gone beyond what they did. Mm -hmm. um, so I decided, I saw it and I was just like, gotta do a Dune buggy. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so from there we did the video announcing Project Scare mm -hmm. where we actually thought of all the things we could do but yeah. um, the dune buggy it was just something like oh now that's cool I gotta do that like it's not terribly expensive to do um, there's some the modifications aren't as crazy as you would think and 
there's a Facebook group called Lifted Water Cool VWs, which I got a lot of information on how to do this. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, and you're talking about how it's very inexpensive and not a crazy amount of work, yet you still get that dramatic shift in what the whole feel, the whole look of the car is. Yeah, um, so in order to get this look, I actually do have a, a page with everything you need to do this. Uh, it's all Amazon products you know, where you can buy them off of Amazon. And everything that I've put into this car so far has is available on Amazon and I'll put a link in the description to get to that page so you can see exactly what it is. But what this is, all that you have to do to do this is put Jeep Springs on it. So it's JK Jeep Springs in the front and um, YJ in the back I think it is. It's an old Cherokee. Uh, they're both front springs that you put on front and back of this car. Um, and that's all you need to get this look, the, the lift. Mm -hmm. when I, but that wasn't enough for me. Um, I wanted the whole off-road dune buggy feel. Yeah. So I did upgrade the front shocks to Bilston shocks, uh, struts rather. A real high-end quality strut. Wasn't too expensive to do. The rear, because of the extra suspension travel, it does get upgraded to F-150 shocks from off of a Ford F-150 pickup truck. Um, so that gives it kind of the extra suspension to it, and that's it. The suspension parts were about $400. The, and now those I did not install. Uh, I had NCRP do it because at the time we didn't have a garage, and honestly, compressing those springs down and what you have to do, I, I felt beyond my capability. Yeah, yeah. And it is very dangerous to do something like that. Um, but they were able to install it for me for $600. So it was $1,000 to lift it. Um, then the wheels and tires to get the that look, I did spend about another 1000 So to get yeah. this look, really to get the look, you're looking at about two grand if you don't do the work yourself. Only about fifteen hundred if you do the work yourself. So in order to put Jeep wheels on the car, you do need adapters, studs, conversions, and uh, I needed lug nuts because yeah. of the way I did it. And everything, like I said, is on that page if you really want to dive into it. Beyond the wheels and tires, it's cosmetics. So we did put on the fender flares that keeps it legal here in Pennsylvania, and it does add to the dramatic effect of it. I mounted the spare tire on the back uh, to give it that dune buggy feel and look. And we put a, a light bar across the hood uh, to, to give it that, that look across, the, that off-road look, and it's bright. That's very cool, yeah. Is there any work that you still want to have done to the car? There's a lot of work that I wanted done, and uh, I'm interested to see what people say about some of it. One of the next big thing will be to put um, truck body paint, uh, the, the bed liner paint on it. Um, there's a couple different brands that I'm looking at, but it will have that rough texture, that really solid texture and durable texture. Uh, it is going to be black mm -hmm. because I am going for an urban assault vehicle, yeah. that's the, the theme of the vehicle. Uh, so the whole thing's going to be blacked out. Um, beyond that is uh, we have some damage over here on the on the, the bottom of the car yeah. and I'm thinking about whether or not I should get fix that. Yeah. Um, I've had some people tell me, no, you should leave it, it adds character to it and that it's actually used and off-road. I don't know if I want to do that or if I want to put the, uh, the things on it to hide that. Mm -hmm. So that those are some of the, the major changes there. Also on the front, um, I want to put a push bar, a winch, and a uh, round tube bumper. Oh. So that's going to be modifications to the front end. And there's a little bit of work that needs to be done to the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we've already done a couple videos together with this car. Do you have any other plans in the works that maybe I haven't even heard about yet? Or <laughs> anything like that? Like how is this still going to be on the channel? There's a lot of uh, in the works. 
that you haven't heard about and I'm not spilling it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll talk about that off camera. Yeah. We're not spilling it, but there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of things going on. And I, the 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 idea of this is to have a vehicle that was a project car for the channel. Um, something that was I wanted something that was inexpensive that anybody could do. I mean it's amazing. When you drive this car around, it's like I used to get a lot of attention with the Camaro, mm -hmm. and I still do. I mean, mm -hmm. driving a red Camaro with flames on it and loud, people comment, nice car, it looks great, you know. It, Obnoxious. It, <laughs> there's some of that. <laughs> Not everybody's a, a car lover. No. Um, but yeah, I, I, I definitely get a lot of attention with the Camaro, yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's still, a Camaro that it's just a nice Camaro yeah. and, and you know anybody who drives a nice Camaro will get commented on this on the other hand people want to know mm -hmm. is it four-wheel drive what's underneath it I'm like no it's still two-wheel drive it's in the, I've had I never thought of that like you never thought of a dune buggy <laughs> it's a dune buggy and dune buggies were two-wheel drive mm -hmm. they weren't four-wheel drive they just beefed up the suspension and went driving on the dunes um, I've had some comments from people about mudding with it mm -hmm. and mud pits and it's not built for that. I didn't buy it. I didn't build a mud car. I don't want a mud car. Um, I wanted something that would go off on the trails, be able to go off road, have a little bit of fun, go on the beach, mm -hmm. um, that kind of thing. Yeah. That, that's really where it's designed for. But the amount of people that are just, I had one guy followed me for a half a mile just to take a look yeah. at it. He j and tell me how cool it was. That's very cool. Literally, just I've been following you for half a mile in town. And we're not talking about, oh, I followed you half a mile down the highway. No, they followed me in town half a mile out of their way, followed me home to see it. <laughs> I mean, how did that make you feel, though? Did that make you feel like happy, like excited, or a little creeped out that I have this iconic thing? And, you know. It was, it, it, I, it definitely is cool. I mean, you know, because it is so unique. I mean, yeah. I, I sit out there and, you know, I have access to four vehicles every morning, every day. I have access to four. And three of them are show cars. Yeah. You, the Porsche's here all the time. Yeah. I, you know, I've driven it once in a while. Uh, the Camaro or the Beetle and Project Scarab. And, I, I, I comment that I walk out every day and, and decide which car show vehicle I'm going to drive to work. <laughs> Not mine. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it, it is kind of cool to be able to do that. And, um, you know, I've always been the kind of person who, you, you, the car gets driven. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's, you don't buy a car to sit in the yeah. garage and take out on the weekends. Um, I will say that Hot Wheels sits a lot more. It does. It does sell a lot more. more. Um, but part of that is is that this gets so much tension, so mm -hmm. much more And good tension. mileage. <laughs> uh, surprisingly, that's not true. Not anymore with the tires? With the tires and the yeah. lid, especially the tires. Um, both cars get, well, this still gets more gas mileage. Like I think back and forth to work, I'm getting like 14, 15 with the Camaro, and this is getting like 16, 17. Mm. So it's, it's not like the 21 that used to happen. Yeah, it's not the, the low to mid 20s that yeah. it used to be. So yeah. it definitely gets a little bit better gas mileage, but um, it, it is just so much fun watching mm. the reactions. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Now, as for other. Um, other things coming up, you know, this is a car that was designed to, or a project to design to put on on the channel so that we can show how to do this stuff. And there's a lot of videos in a playlist called Project Scarab that shows how everything was done. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to continue that, but also we're going to be doing a lot of off-road adventuring with it. That yes. is something I do want to do, like we did, like I did with Wicked Fabs. Yes, and we also did up at the farm. Right, with the farm video, uh, that was a lot of fun yes. to, to take it out in the mud. Mm -hmm. um, and I drove it there. Yeah. So we do want to, I do want to get some videos with you driving it, mm -hmm. um, taking it on a real off-road kind yeah. of thing. 
Um, and up where we, I went with uh, Wicked Fabs, and check out that video, there'll be a link in the, in the description, but uh, there's some windmills up there, I'd love to take up, do a photo shoot up there, do videos up there. Um, so definitely want to do some new things, and there's a couple locations that I know of where th we can take this and have a lot even more fun than that. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to actually trying to get it done. Um, the new studio and, and uh, garage and everything else and all the work that we're doing and all that stuff, it does take a toll and this has been pushed back a bit, but... Um, yes, there's is, lots of projects coming yeah, up this right is, now. This is a project I want to have done by the fall, in the winter. It will be my winter vehicle. Yeah. The... the um, what it's going to be after the winter though is quite questionable what happens next mm -hmm. spring yeah um because at that time the project will be done um and it'll be time to move on to something else yeah. we need a new project yeah. um if project cars are something that we think we want on the channel so there's always going to be something going on and so what do we do with this is yeah. the big question and there's a couple ideas i have but none of them are really keeping it as an option yeah so it's going to leave and that's going to give an opportunity for somebody to have it yeah that's pretty cool and how that happens i don't know yet yeah and that's also so far in the future yeah. and it's not completed you know. yeah yeah cool. so there's a lot to to go with that yeah nice so if you have any ideas on how we can do something with this now mind you the the funds raised with the getting rid of this is something that will you know it, it, that funds the next project so uh this is not you know, give it to me it's free that's not going to happen <laughs> <laughs> um you know but I, I am exploring a couple options um one idea is to do a giveaway um, I probably need some help with somebody who knows how to do those types of things, but a raffle where you buy, you know, one of these things where you buy something and the proceeds and you, you know, we give it away because you bought t-shirts or something, yeah. or posters or so much money gets you an entry, something of that nature, something where we can earn the money that the value of it is all I'm looking to really get. Yeah. Outright sell it is an option. Um, just or any other option. I mean, I'm I'm open to ideas, but like I said, the funds from this finance the next project, or at least the beginning of it. So we're going to be looking to do something with it. Um, so let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, make sure you check out modelsandcars.com where you can get great posters of uh, Maddie as well as other models and uh, as well as T-shirts and mm -hmm. other merchandise for yourself to highlight models and cars and uh, hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you next time.